here's this. Last time we were working on a GUI, so I'll open that up again. I was this uh, sinusoid GUI, and what I'd like to do this time is, uh, well, let's run it. We we had a reference sinusoid and a um, one that we were altering, so I can change the amplitude on one of them. And you know, it's nice to have a a label because I don't know what I'm altering here or not altering. And yeah, I'll bring. I'll just bring out a label there, and I'll make it font size bigger. Uh, I don't really. I don't care about this tag because I'm. I'm not going to reference it. Uh, I just give it a label and let it sit there. Sort of dumb. Okay, that's okay. There's a. Here's the label. Now, the next thing I want to try to do is I'm going to bring out a slider. And I want to I want to link the slider to the edit box. So what I'm going to do, I brought out the slider. I want to set the value. Let's say we're going to constrain A to be 0 to 2. So what I'm going to do with this slider is there's its max value. So I'm going to say set that to be 2. And the min should be 0. And I'm going to call it, uh, I need to make it a tag. So we're going to call it slider A. And then I'm going to save that, and uh, and I need to bring it back. It's gone. All right, and then I'm going to run this, and I'm going to bring it. And the slider uh, doesn't do anything at this point because I need to I need to wire it so that it's connected to this text box, right? We want it to be we want its value to match the text box. So how about this? What I'm going to do for the text box callback, uh, so we'll go to the text box callback. Oh, and I, I need to save the figure. I don't know why it's slider 1, but um, let me double click this and save it. We'll, oh, I'll, sa I'll change it to slider A again, and then save this. I don't know. OK. Um, run it. Okay. Uh, I don't know why. Anyway, what we'll do, what we have, we, what we want to do here is this with this edit a callback. We're gonna. It gives me this hint here. It says I can use get h object string to get the contents, or I, uh, of the of a as a string. I'm gonna get it as a number using this right here. And I'm gonna say okay, a equals that. And then I'm going to uh, set, um, and it's handles slider 1, I believe, and it's going to be value, and I'm going to set it to A. So let's see what happens when I do that. So bringing back this GUI, uh, it's not there, so I'm, I'm going to run it. So if I set this to 1.2, uh, notice, notice that the slider value is going to change so 1.5, so its position changes. What I'm going to do next time is I'm going to show you how to make the, the slider affect the text box.